reason why you want to build a brand uh, is that the brand and the brand message is what sets you apart. So having a brand is what allows you to charge the right price. If, if you don't have a brand, if you don't, if you don't stand for anything, if you're just product, the reality is there's now no discerning factor that sets you apart from anyone else that's delivering the same type of product. You're forced to compete on only one thing, price. And if there's one thing I've learned after all these years in, this fa in the fashion business, there's always someone that's willing to deliver a product for less money. So you're leaving yourself without brand, without a brand, without branding, in a very precarious position. There's always someone that's going to be willing to come and undercut you, and you either are not going to be able to compete or you have to respond, and you're now in kind of a debt spiral of ever shrinking margins. So that's what ultimately can happen to you when you don't have a brand. Uh, so the power of a brand is the brand is what allows you uh, to charge more for your product. And that goes back to, again, as we have talked about in the past, that brand messaging provides a handle and it's a means of communicating to the consumer. Now, for a brand to work, it has to be perceived as uh, being authentic and credible in the mind of the consumer. But once you do that and you have an authentic and credible brand, the consumer will re uh, reward you and they will allow you to charge more for your product because there is an interesting value that goes with the brand. 